Train, Annie McShay, Shelby Stewart. Coach, start with you. Um, obviously, a close match to have your season end, but but specifically that second set, you know, felt like things could have turned. But was there any one thing you thought if it, you know, would have went a little better for you guys, you could have come away with that second set? I mean, of course, there were a few little things that I think we could have executed better. Um, we wanted to get both of these guys a little bit more involved. Our middles have been so threatening all season. Um, their serve took us out of that a little bit. But, you know, we just wanted to go out there. We, talk all, we talked all season about just having fun, playing as a team, and I think that really showed, especially in that second set. Um, I think that was the difference. We were just hitting a little harder and executing a little better. For both of you guys, as an offense that's, that's led by middles and, and not as led by outside hitters, what kind of advantage do you guys think that, that gave you this season to get this far in the tournament? I think, like, I wouldn't necessarily call it being led by middles because I think that we have so much trust in our outside that we're able to get the ball more often, and we know, like, like if we have an opening, they can shoot it outside and they're still going to get the kill, which is like a lot of faith in the team. Um, so I think that that really helps us because we're, we were so versatile all across the board. But we also obviously know that our coach has a lot of faith in us as middles, which um, is a little bit different than some teams. So I think that just overall, like everyone supporting us and knowing we, they have our backs is really helpful for us. Yeah, I think Sarah really hit the nail on the head with that one. Well, in the middle, we can have a lot of variety with, you know, the plays that we run being up on the net in different positions to hit, it, that's really an awesome advantage we have, but also relying on everyone else across the board to give us, you know, a better shot with less block, blockers' hands in our faces and really just mix it up across the board. I think having a spread out offense really helps to, you know, keep us off offensive and successful throughout the season. Both of you guys can answer this as well. You were so close to a team that, that hasn't lost all season. Do you feel like there was one thing that there seemed like it would get – close at the end of that first set and at the end of that third set and Hopkins would make a little run. Was there one thing they just did a little bit better, you thought, that you could see from the court? I think that they were just a well-balanced team. So, like, I've got to give them a shout-out for that. They're very calm, cool, and collected, and that's an awesome team to play because it's like you know that it can be back and forth, and if they get some points, and you'll get some points. Um, so I think that it was just, like, good play all around, and they came out on top, and that's okay, but um, I think it was great play. <laughs> yeah, again, I would have loved to come out on top, but you know, going down to an amazing team who hasn't lost all season, it's a feeling they've put on like 30-some teams at this point, so <laughs> definitely we aren't alone in that. But being against, playing against such an amazing team, I think we really did step up to the level and the caliber. It, as you said, it was close back and forth, and while you know, that really kind of at some points gave us that hope that we could maybe get, get ahead, it shows that we can compete with the highest level of teams. So that's something that I'm really proud of our team, where we've been starting a little out a little rough this season, and really coming to peak here in the tournament was an awesome feeling and success for the season. Both you guys get on the all tournament team. Obviously, you know it, it's a tough way to end your career with a loss. But when you look back on on your four years for both of you, what do you what do you take away from your time at Stevens? Yeah, well, I also like to think about how every team ends on a loss except for one. <laughs> so for us, um, it's we don't really think about it that way. But I think it was an awesome four years um, playing next to Shelby for you know, not expert, but like with Shelby <laughs> um, for four years has been phenomenal. And all the other seniors and our teammates has been awesome. Um, so I don't know, it was an awesome way to end the season um, in the Sweet 16. Yeah, I think I look back to our freshman year, we made it to this exact same point without in the same game. So it's amazing to see that we've, you know, held that level of high level of volleyball throughout our four years here among, you know, people graduating, new people coming in. And I really see awesome things in the future for this program. So while I'm sad to leave, but I feel really strong and confident in the legacy we're leaving behind here. The only thing I have for you guys is, uh, you know, just the couple of times that I've seen you guys play, you really seem to feed off of energy. What was the atmosphere like out on the court there today? Yeah, honestly, it all comes from our bench. Our Everyone all the time is always engaged, and it, it just makes it so much more fun to play. Um, we can be anywhere. Obviously, Hopkins had a lot of fans at home, but we felt like we had just as much energy from coming with from within our team, um, which was really awesome. So, I don't know. It was just fun to play. <laughs> Last question, Coach, talk about your uh, your scheduling philosophy because you came yeah. in here playing three teams that you ended up playing three teams that had good records, play, mm -hmm. playing good conferences, in, and, and you don't seem to duck anybody. How did that prepare you to come in here and play three matches at a pretty high level? That's exactly why I do it, the way I do it. I mean, we had 11 losses on our schedule, but they were all to very, very good teams. Um, we feel like if we play teams like that throughout the season, there really is no bad loss. It's always a learning experience, and it's always – preparing us for this exact moment. So we came in here having already seen the best of the best and feeling like, you know, when we went to Minnesota, we felt like that was some of our best play of the season. 
um, even though we came back with three losses. Um, so seeing teams like Carnegie Mellon and Susquehanna, you know, we didn't bat an eye. We just felt like we could compete. All right, guys, thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah.